I just got back from the San Diego Asian Film Festival and it was super awesome because HP Mendoza's Bitter Melon won Best Narrative Feature. It was great, it was totally cool, a total surprise, and my girlfriend Paula actually recorded the moment he won. Uh, I'll show that in just a second. But first, I just wanna thank organizations like the Pacific Arts Movement, the Boston Asian American Film Festival, CAM, Visual Communications, DC APA Film Festival, Asian Cinevision, Fame in Chicago, Disorient out of Oregon, Real Asian in Toronto, and so many others. Really quickly, these organizations and events are super important because sometimes when times are good, uh, folks can take these orgs for granted because progress has been made. But in reality, their existences are super necessary because as we've seen in the last couple years, there's always going to be somebody who wants to roll it back. Orgs like these make sure that the stake that we've planted collectively isn't just picked up out of the ground and, and tossed 60 years back into the past. And this is true for arts organizations, human rights organizations, and civil rights organizations. So don't forget to support these orgs however you can, whether it's donations or volunteering or signing up for memberships, or even if it's just following them and promoting their work on social media. Okay, so now to the staff award. Earlier in the day, I asked HP if he thought he'd won anything, and he said no, uh, he had no idea, uh, but he wasn't expecting it. Paula and I, were actually giving an award to someone who was sitting at our table who also said he had no idea that he was getting an award. So I was like, hmm. Anyway, Paula started recording before the award was announced because she's smart and tech savvy like that. As soon as HP's name was called, he passed his phone over to me and I thought I was recording, but it wasn't. So basically, I'm just like a mime. Congrats to HP and the whole Bitter Melon team and Cinematographo. It's been a heck of a journey and I can't wait for more people to see the film very, very, very soon. In fact, there will likely be some announcements coming shortly, so be sure to follow HP on Twitter and to like the Bitter Melon Facebook page for updates on when you can see Bitter Melon in theaters and on digital platforms. All right, roll clip. From film and theater to tell a familiar story in the most unusual way. The jury commended the film for its unique and honest exploration of the unsaid tensions within the Filipino American family. Yo. Give it to Patrick now. What's up, HP! <laughs>
Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's tricky enough in this time uh, because right now we're, we're living in an era where think, opinions are very binary. You know what I mean? You're either with us or you're against us. And I think we've been divided and we've been splintered. And I think all I've ever wanted to do is make movies that like, really beg everybody to be more empathetic um, and create this course and kind of look inside and see if they, um, I, who are the real monsters in our society and, and do they actually exist? So if you want to know what this course is about, you want to know what I want to talk about, what I'm preaching about, what I get these sanctimonious about, please come tomorrow to the Old Star at 325 Israel Express. Me and Patrick will be there to talk about it. I'm turning my, my, my speech into a pitch, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I made a big better speech. Um, so I'm